Welcome everyone. At dawn on the 15th of September 2014, a Burmese beach cleaner discovered two battered bodies at the southern end of Sairi Beach on the Thai island of Koh Tao. Those bodies belonged to the British backpackers Hannah Witheridge and David Miller. The next day, Jonathan Samuels of Sky News filed a three-minute report from the island. With the benefit of a tremendous amount of hindsight, I'll give you my reaction to that report. I'll also use this opportunity to fill in some gaps and remove some of the mystery surrounding this dreadful double murder. Highland are examining CCTV footage which they hope could provide vital clues about the murder of two British tourists on a popular holiday island. David Miller and Hannah Witheridge were found dead on a beach in Koh Tao yesterday morning after sustaining serious head injuries in a violent assault. Sky's Jonathan Samuels is on Koh Tao and sent this report. For a second night, young backpackers hold a vigil on the beach in Koh Tao. The bodies were found in the alcove to the right of those large rocks. Reports emerged later that at about 5.30 a.m. on the 15th of September, a young Thai man, Warat Tuichian, also known as Nomsod, was seen leaving Koh Tao on a speedboat called Little Duck from a spot just 150 metres south of where the bodies were found or in other words, to the left of the screen. Candles are lit at the spot where David Miller and Hannah Witheridge had their travelling adventures cut short in the most horrific way. Sean McKenna has been friends with David since they both lived in Leeds. He told me he wanted to make the world a better place. It was always like, oh, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. Like, and it was never selfish. It was never for selfish reasons. It wasn't for self-gratification. It was just they wanted to spread this, uh, this peace and love. <laughs> yeah, it was kind of the guy that I always wanted to be. OK, Sean McKenna. I won't discuss Sean McKenna in any great detail here, but several people expressed doubts about whether Sean was as close to David Miller as he makes out. Jonathan Samuels was obliged to take Sean at face value, although Sean is a colourful character. Most of you would be aware that Sean later gave a dramatic interview to Jonathan claiming that Nomsod's uncle and a Thai police sergeant threatened him. Within days of the murders, Sean fled the island and settled in Milan where he's kept a low profile. Now, the next 15 seconds are really interesting. Most of the people at this vigil didn't know David or Hannah but they wanted to pay their respects to fellow travellers. Travellers who come to this part of the world because it's renowned as a peaceful place to spend time. Well, for people who don't pay attention or who only look at advertising material or similar misleading sources, this part of the world might be renowned as a peaceful place to spend time. The reality is that the Gulf of Thailand has been infested with pirates and smugglers for centuries. In the 1970s, Thai pirates attacked thousands of Vietnamese boat people, robbing, raping and murdering them with impunity. In The Curse of the Turtle, Sue Buchanan writes of a Burmese man whose throat was cut from ear to ear because he had worked for a diving shop and thereby took work away from the ethnic Thais. Ian Jacobs was murdered on Koh Tao in January of 2000. Mr. Ban was assassinated in early 2002. Hiroshi died after participating in a snorkel test. Yoshi Sazawa, also known as Charlene, was apparently murdered in June 2004 and the circumstances covered up. Ben Harrington was apparently murdered in 2012. Anthony Cardulo was threatened and found dead in 2013. Nick Pearson was apparently murdered in January of 2014. 
And of course, there are many other assaults and rapes that have occurred on the island. Okay, back to the Sky Report for several more revelations. That piece was broken moments after this CCTV footage of the pair was filmed. Police want to speak to this man of Asian appearance, acting strangely near where David and Hannah had been enjoying a night out. He's our number one suspect, the island's police chief tells me. And what's more, he's convinced the man is still on the island. Police are at every quayside, making sure he can't leave. It was promptly revealed that the footage of the couple you just saw bore absolutely no resemblance to Hannah and David. In fact, shortly after filing this report, and to his great credit, Jonathan Samuels found actual CCTV footage of Hannah and David in the possession of various shop owners that the Thai police had not even bothered to check. There had been much speculation and debate over the identity of the running man. Many observers noticed that the running man and Nomsod share the same unique gait and a peculiar posture of the left arm and elbow. In contrast, the police claimed that the running man was Wai Pyo, who was a Burmese man convicted of the murders on the strength of bogus DNA evidence. However, Wai Pyo always wore a bracelet and Running Man does not. And I give my credit to the many sleuths at CSILA Facebook page for pointing out some of these unique features. A sound conclusion is that Running Man is Nomsod and that he left the island at 5.30 a.m. on the 15th of September 2014, contrary to what the island police chief told Jonathan Samuels. Okay, back to Jonathan Samuels one last time. There have been raids on homes, but so far not enough leads. Immigrant workers have been the focus of police attention. Evidence has been seized, but there have been no arrests. A British consular official has been on the island. Extra police have been brought in. Back home and David's family described him as a talented artist who had everything to look forward to. Meanwhile, Hannah's relatives say they're utterly devastated at the loss of a beautiful, intelligent, loving young woman who poured joy into the lives of all who knew her. Sentiments echoed by the manager of the wedding show company where she used to work. She was beautiful. She was natural. Um funny, witty, overall intelligent and we were really really lucky and honoured to have Hannah work with us and we were so sad to see her go um, and like I say it's just total devastation that this has happened. Travelling is a rite of passage but this horrific crime has frightened both backpackers and their parents. Everyone here is praying whoever's responsible is brought to justice and quickly. Okay, Jonathan Samuels, Sky News, Koh okay, Tao in Thailand. Well, it's certainly tragic, isn't it? And uh, what do you think of Running Man? Do you think Running Man was actually nomsod, or would you agree with the Royal Thai Police and uh, assert that it was uh, Y Pyo? And uh, do you have any other thoughts uh, regarding the, uh, the video and uh, any of the content? Okay, look, all the best. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and stay safe. Bye for now.